hi guys welcome to today's class we'll be learning how to cut a jacket with a lapel and reverse collar okay so i need my pattern master my tape rule scissors and marker and of course my measurements to do this if you do not know how to draw this full scale bodies that i traced out here i'll link it in the description description box so you can go and watch that video so what i did was i left about five inches here okay so you go ahead and leave five inches while tracing out yours okay that will be to accommodate our lapel and at the upper part i left five inches also to accommodate a red color okay so you go ahead and do your white tracing and at the lower part as you can see you have more space there to accommodate the length of our jacket so what i'm doing now is is marking out the length of my jacket which is 30 inches okay i'm marking it from the shoulder point okay 30 inches now i'm going to check the measurement i have from my hip line to that point okay i have five inches okay so i'm going to reflect it all across five inches and i'll go ahead with my pattern master i roll a perfect straight line okay now that's just it so you follow me please guys don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel okay i will be posting more and more lovely videos all right now on our waistline I'll go up by two inches okay just from there is where we're going to be getting our lapel I want my lapel to start right from two inches above my waistline you can do it at your under bust you can just make your lapel start from your under bust that's still okay you can also make it start from your waist that's still okay so I ruled my straight line okay that's where we're going to be drafting our lapel color from okay so that's just basically it now i'm going to measure three inches three sorry 3.5 inches because um our jacket is going to be an overlap jacket all right so that's why i measured 3.5 inches and right here is i'm just extending the line okay so i'll have a perfect straight line to mark my 3.5 inches for my overlap jacket all right so that's just it and then i roll the line straight across now on this other part i'll just extend the line as well okay you can see what i did here so you go ahead and do yours as well now we're going to draft our lapel color at that part okay but before we do that let's uh get uh, uh the body part of our jacket okay so get the midpoint of your shoulder line and connect it to the boss point line okay i'm zooming in so you can see clearly just what i'm doing okay so get the midpoint of your shoulder point of shoulder line i'll show you again get the midpoint of your shoulder okay mark it and connect it straight to your boss point just like this okay now the next we'll do that at the back as well get the midpoint of your back shoulder just like this okay mark it okay and connect it to the chest line just like this okay so that's just basically it okay now at the lower part we're also going to extend the length of our jacket okay so remember what we had there was five inches so i'm reflecting five inches all across and i'll rule that on the i'll rule out a straight line and then i'll connect it okay just connect it straight down okay that's just basically what we have there now We'll be working on our lapel and our river color. Remember, I said this part is where we're going to be drafting. And I'm zooming in so you can see clearly what I'm going to be doing just right there. Okay, so you follow the steps. This is very easy, guys. Very easy. Remember, this is 3.5 inches I marked here. You can make yours more. Okay, it can be 4 inches, it can be 5 inches. Depends on the body size you're working with okay but this is a slim person okay so that's why i use 3.5 so just connect these two points just like i did okay connect from that 3.5 inches mark to your neck line point okay 
that just it and on that neckline point i'm going to mark three inches now some people make it two inches that's still okay all right it just depends on how wide you want your lapel collar to be but i want mine to be three inches and then using the curved edge of my pattern master i'm connecting it okay so this is just basically it and then i will just really straight line across it so this is it this is just a lapel collar so that's just it i will label it lapel okay so it's just easy all right so we are going to be drafting our river collar and to do that i'll use my angle 45 on my pattern master okay so i'll just rotate the ruler to the other end so i can get an accurate point okay just on that point i'll just put a dot there and then on that point where i have my dot starting from my neck line just watch what i'm doing so you can do yours correctly take two inches or 2.5 it's just all up to you how wide you want your uh, river color to be okay so i marked two inches at that point all right so it's so easy all right now on the other part which is on this neckline part we're going to be extending it by the neck width of our back bodies okay if your neck width is three inches mark three inches there if it's four inches mark four inches there okay and then we're going to go out by 0 0.3 okay and then i'm going to go ahead and connect it straight across just like this okay i'm zooming once again so you can see clearly just what i'm doing there is very easy guys very easy please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel okay give it leave a thumbs up so you can get notified anytime i post on my channel okay don't forget to comment and leave your questions i'll definitely attend to them so from that point now the initial point we had i marked three inches for the width of my river color you can mark four you can mark it's just all up to you how wide you want it but standard is usually three inches which is just perfect okay and then that's just it okay connect a straight line to that point uh i went up by 0 0.3 just like we did at the other side okay and i reconnected it just look closely so you see you see i went up by 0 0.3 so you go ahead and do that okay and now using the curve part of your ruler connect it okay now that's just it and extend it out just like i did this is the original line but i extended it out because this is too wide and i want it to be closer a little so i mark one inch down here and i connected it this way and then at the lapel i'll mark one inch once again okay and i'll connect it okay that's just it and then i'll connect it on a straight line but to do that i will mark my three inches once again so i can just connect a perfect curve once again like remember we made a curve at the lapel part okay that's just it so guys this is so easy you were not expecting it right so that's just basically it for our jacket basically it for our lapel and our red color this is an overlap jacket by the way okay i'm going to attach a picture of what beauty i created with this pattern okay so just here i'm going to extend it straight line that's just all and our jacket is ready guys thank you for staying with me on my channel i appreciate don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, comment, like, share, okay? And of course, click the notification bell so you get notified anytime I post. So I just went ahead and labeled all my pattern pieces, okay? And I'll go ahead and cut this out so you can see just what we have okay before adding our sewing allowance all across on my pattern so this is what we have just right here okay this is our back piece 
go ahead and add your 0 0.5 inches seam allowance all across okay this is the side of the back add your seam allowance all across if you work with one inch fine okay this is the front part as well this is our collar okay add your 0 0.5 inch all across too okay and then also do the same for this part as well 0 0.5 inch all across okay this is our side now take note of our dart here okay so don't forget to close that dart is very very important so i'm going to be showing you how to close it okay just close it and stick it down with your masking tape and that's just it okay then add your seam allowance and that's just it please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel guys i'm going to show you the beautiful jacket i made out of this pattern isn't this beautiful guys you too can make it out of this pattern okay just follow the process and that's just it don't forget to click the notification bell so you can get notified anytime i post like share and comment on my posts see you next time bye